So we're really lucky this week to have joining us Paul Nixon, Chief Social Worker in New Zealand, who's running a series of uh, events, training events for our staff and then an event for leaders and managers across the Trust. Uh, and the focus of our work uh, with Paul is around uh, restorative relational practice, what that really means, what it means to work differently with families. So Paul, you're most welcome. Thank you for coming to Birmingham. So my first question is, is when we talk about restorative practice, relation, relationship-based, relational practice, what do you think we're really talking about? I think we're talking about the way practitioners engage with families and give them the greatest opportunity to have a greater say over their lives. So restorative relational practice is fundamentally about building constructive, helpful relationships with families. 80% of it is proactive, relationship building, working out with families what they need, what they're going to do, how they're going to make decisions. And 20% is reactive, uh, repairing harm, putting things right, keeping children safe when we need to do that, working alongside families. Uh, it's fundamentally about how we engage people to take control over their own lives. And how different do you think that is when it's transacted really well? from the kind of more traditional social work that you and I perhaps grew up with? I think it makes a huge difference. I think there's lots of evidence around the world that supports that. Uh, if you give people responsibility and power to make choices about their own lives, it reinforces their skills, it reinforces their, their ownership of problems, it improves their working relationship with social workers. And we know from research that the quality of the relationship between the practitioners and the families is one of the key uh, indicators to good outcomes for children. 